Uh, you know what happened last week, right? Phoenix Comic Con came and went. Lauren, you went all four days? I did. Ugh. Now, if you don't know what Comic-Con is, it's where 77,000 geeks, nerds, dorks, and movie buffs all get in line to pay George Takai $25 for his <laughs> autograph. But it should be about the superheroes. Uh-huh. And that's the subject of this week. Oh, all right. Yeah. Overboard. Okay. All aboard. Everyone is now ready for At Broomhead Show's Overboard. I... So this week we will debate superheroes. I know I don't make the list. I look for around the internet for the top four of something. Right. And the top four superheroes of all time. You have to take one and throw them overboard. They're gone. They're okay. done. They're dead to you. Okay. Your choices are Superman. Uh-huh. Batman. Uh-huh. Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. Now, number four was uh, different on different websites, but the most of the time, the name that would show up would be Wolverine. Okay. Okay. So that is your top four superheroes. One get- Now, it can be however that superhero is re- represented to you. Toys, uh, comic books, movies, television, however it is representative to you, uh-huh. you got to get rid of one. I got to get rid of one. It's a toss-up for me. Okay. I'm going to go Spider-Man. Spider-Man's out. That's a shocker. Really? I got to be honest with you. Yeah. Sh- I didn't think anyone would vote as Spider-Man. Spider-Man's out. Now, why? Uh, I just, what's the reason? I, I just was, I never c- quite got it. I never quite got it. You never connected it. to the teenage yeah, the story? Peter, Peter Parker. I never I never got the whole thing. And then With he, great power comes great responsibility. Yeah, and he, he, he puts on that stupid suit. and, then, and Well, they then, all wear super stupid but, suits. But spider webs <laughs> fly out of his hands, and he swings around. And, no, it's all right. Is it his origin story that he was bitten by a spider? Yeah, the whole thing is just weird. No, it's not my thing. No, I see Superman stays. No way you get rid of Superman. That's what I'm getting rid of. W- Wolverine. <gasps> Wolverine is awesome. Wolverine and, is too cool for everybody. And Batman, you know, is a billionaire. Mm-hmm. He's a billionaire who lost his parents and decided to use his money to fight crime. And the recent depictions of Batman have made him but so it was, cool. It was also the cast around him. All the other, the villains were even cool. And Definitely. the Joker. And even when they made modern movies, I got to tell you, Jack Nicholson was the best Joker ever. Here's why I throw Superman off. Superman. Is because it's no contest when it comes to Superman. He's not going to lose. Right. He never faces any adversity. <laughs> yes, he does. Kryptonite. That's it. It's one stone. You just said never faces adversity. He'll never lose. There's None never of them ever chance. lose. I know, but there's not even a chance. He has superhuman powers. He can fly. See, I like the fact with Spider Spider-Man. I like the fact that he happened into it, not that it's just opposite. That if, if Superman was on another planet, he'd just be a normal dude. I just think the un- it's unbelievable the fact that Superman gained his popularity because you would believe that a man could fly and the everybody was ones, impressed by this. The other ones are believable? On a scale of uh, believability, I would have to put him at the, at, the, at the bottom. I also don't like aliens. I don't like Spider-Man the fact that he's an alien. Is believable? More believable than Superman. Oh, and because Superman's so spider web shooting out of his hands and him swinging from buildings Thank is more you believable. For making my point, Mike. Than a guy that can leap tall buildings in a single. He's bounce. an alien. He's not even a man. See, it is racist. You don't like illegal aliens. Oh my God, I've been caught. <laughs> <laughs> Wolverine and Batman are just cool. So they are my one and two. Obviously, Batman's number one. My favorite Batman of all Batman's is Michael Keaton. That was a good one, my I, Batman. I loved that. That series of movies. I, and that's my childhood, too. I connected to Batman in my childhood. Uh, he was my favorite then, so he'll be my see, favorite always. The thing about the... Superman is just boring. There are certain movies where the supporting cast steals the movie. In Tombstone, Val Kilmer stole the movie over Kurt Russell. Oh, yeah. And in Batman, Jack Nicholson stole that movie. But it's, it's part of the world. I mean, I am taking the whole yeah, world the whole, of yeah. Batman... As part of this argument, I love Joker. Joker's probably if we did villains, Joker would probably be the number one villain. And was it wasn't it in the, was it Burgess Meredith that was the original Penguin? Wah, wah, wah. Yeah, I believe. So. Yeah, it was. So the original Batman's were better than Superman. Well, and that, what was great was you go back and watch the original Batman's with the with the screen at the time. What would have been all of the uh, 
the uh, the like the bow pow and bit. it was so cheese ball and horrible. It's hilarious. Oh, it was it was hysterical. Batman couldn't be poisoned because he would coat his stomach with buttermilk. <laughs> What's better than that? Right. All right, Lauren, who are you throwing overboard? Um, I'm surprised Wonder Woman wasn't number four. Was oh, one of the most popular. here we go. No, here just, we go. I honestly thought it would be Wonder Woman over Wolverine. Um, I gotta go with Spider Man on this one. I Batman and Superman. You're saying like never, ever, ever again, and I can't. I can't abide. First of all, Will has Batman and Superman tattoos, so oh, that I would be okay. hard. I didn't know that. Let so, me change my argument. <laughs> no, but all I'm saying is they're the original ones, I feel like, and everything else has, has spawned off of them. I got to go with Spider-Man. I never – Wolverine, yeah, just awesome, and Hugh Jackman. Um, I, I never connected, and it doesn't matter the incarnation of, of which of the many movies and Spider-Men that we have had. Uh, he's he's whiny. I just <laughs> I he, I couldn't. He's a teenager. It's though. really funny though because people have have debated these arguments. It probably wouldn't. And who wants a you teenage superhero online? Including like who would beat? Uh, there's a whole video about Superman versus Hulk. Who would win? Because Hulk, the angrier he gets, like it's just it's exponential. But Superman only has a limit. You know what I'm saying? Like. Mm-hmm. But Hulk, the angry, and but Superman still wins. See, I, I would take because the Hulk, Hulk over Superman and... as well. Rob? No. So, so, well, yeah. If oh, there it is. There yeah. it is. Yeah. I gotta there go. Are. I gotta dump Superman because he's boring. Exactly. Superman is boring. But it is the original, like just yeah, because it's first doesn't mean it's the oh, best. Oh man, Superman. I've never liked. I've boring. never liked any of the Superman movies. And the villains are even boring. But that means you can't watch Batman versus Superman or, okay. any, or Justice League or anything after that if you're throwing Superman over. That's okay. I'll yeah. take it. Oh. You're not breaking I'll my heart it. here. It's Ben Affleck as Batman anyway, so it cares. Who's going to play Superman in the Superman versus Batman movie? Henry same, Cavill. Henry Cavill, same guy from... Oh, he's stunking... Oh, that movie was, yeah, no, that the movie, movie, movie was okay. Was awful. The movie Caitlin was okay. Jenner. I hated the movie. Caitlyn, Caitlyn Jenner. Jenner, nice. No. Finally, we're getting a female Catwoman. Superman. No, Catwoman. Lois, Lois Lane. <laughs> yes. <laughs> She actually kind of looks like Lois yeah. Lane. To be well, she could play her. Superman, but when she goes into that phone booth and she changes, let me tell you. <laughs> it's a little different than just some tights. <laughs> oh, all right. So we're split. Two for Spider-Man. We all can, let's just, let's just, I know this is not how Overboard works, but we all can just say Batman's the best, right? Yeah, yeah I'd agree. I don't think he's the best, but yeah. You, who are you putting Who's over the Batman? Batman? Superman. Oh, really? Because he's like the true American, even though he's not an American. It's three to two. You guys lose. <laughs> Batman's the best. Yeah, but like Batman's like Bill Gates. He's like rich. He didn't know what to do with himself. So instead of like giving all his money to charity, he goes beats up bad guys. He's a jerk. Think of how much he could clean up the city if he just gave that money to like yeah politicians, bettering education, and bettering. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> Batman needs to give all his money no to Doug Ducey. That that's true. Yeah. I believe in Harvey Dent. The saying, progressive Andrew. superhero. He <laughs> donates his money. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks, everyone. That was all right. There we get debate going online. If you want to tweet it at Broomhead Show at Andrew Bobinski. Superman sucks. We are <laughs> we're late for traffic. We're gonna get to the real Superman here in a minute. <laughs>